How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're doing another weapon review of one of the forged weapons you can get in Curse of Osiris and that is this sweet bad boy you can see in my back right here. That is going to be the Jack Queen King 3. It is a um, energy weapon, hand cannon for uh, use in Destiny 2. And uh, it's the second one that I've unlocked through the forge. I'm working on my, uh, my third one right now. It's quite the grind to get this one. Uh, I had to do you had to do basically 10 public events and then 10 uh, crystal matches or strikes or whatever, but crystal matches is the way you want to go. So it's a bit of a grind to get this weapon. When you do, it's actually not too shabby. Uh, I thought it was alright. Uh, if you want to compare it, obviously when you think about a hand cannon, this is like a higher uh, and kind of higher end as in higher damaging kind of hand cannon. Uh, you're probably wondering, well, let's compare it to, say, like, the Better Devils. How does it compare to that? Because Better Devils is generally considered the best hand cannon in the game. Though hand cannons in this game are just not certainly in the uh, the best situation possible. I heard on PC they're a lot better, so this weapon probably kicks a lot of butt on PC. But uh, let's go through it first, let you know my loadout, and then I'll uh, give you my opinion on this. Of course, this uh, review is going to be mainly based on PvP at matches. PvE, you can do whatever the hell you want, it's fun, whatever. So, obviously with the hand cannon, it's kind of more of a mid to longer range. Not, I wouldn't say necessarily long range, but mid to long range. Especially with this hand cannon, uh, if you get up to like medium range, close range, you're going to get burned pretty badly by uh, fully autos, maybe even some scout rifles, pulse rifles even. Uh, so you want to kind of keep your distance, stay back, you don't want to be in the front end of everybody. So you want to do then is try to increase the range as much as you can. So uh, with the sight I'm using on this one, it's the Hit Mark HCS, uh, just because that's the one that increases the range the most on the, this weapon here. And now between the three perks here, you have one uh, ricochet rounds. It's uh, rounds ricochet off hard surfaces. It's kind of that's kind of a novelty thing. I don't really care much for it. Uh, tactical mag uh, weapon has multiple ta multiple tactical improvements. Uh, but it's mainly improving on stability and reload speed. Uh, but uh, and then the last one here is accurized rounds, which uh, this weapon can fire at longer distances. So increasing that range and getting that little bit extra killing potential on this weapon, and it's actually quite a bit of a significant jump on uh, this weapon compared to the other out, uh, upgrades. So I definitely have to go with accurized rounds on this one. Um, maybe tactical mag if you're doing PVE stuff with it. And then uh, the interesting part with this one is auto reloads part of the magazine when the wielder is critically wounded. I actually did find this very useful uh, many times when uh, in gunfights when I was, you know, going head to toe, toe to toe, not head to toe, toe to toe with uh, another player. Uh, this so uh, if you get wounded, it gives you a chance to get that one extra shot in. But this does hold 12 shots in the magazine, so it's really, um, you know, it doesn't really get into my, that useful of a perk really. Uh, I think this weapon mainly suffers for being a hand cannon in PvP. Hand cannons in this game need some love. Uh, I heard on PC they're great, but I don't have this game on PC, so whatever. So uh, let's compare the stats here between the Better Devils and the Queen, Jack Queen King 3, and uh, let's, you'll let you uh, make up your opinion on that. I'll show it on the screen right here. The Jack Queen King 3, fire rate of fire is 150 rounds per minute. Impact is 80, range is 59, stability 42, handling 73, reload speed is 63, aim assist is actually up pretty high to 91, recoil direction up to 100. That recoil I've actually found is actually rather easy to manage on this weapon here. And then uh, if we go over here to the Battle Devils, and it has 84 on impact, so this weapon has 4 points less on impact compared to the Better Devils. Uh, then you have range is 46, which is lower than the Jack Queen King 3. Stability is 52, which the ability on this one is 42. So the recoil is actually much higher with the uh, right here with the Jack Queen King 3, though it's a little bit more predictable, if that makes sense. And then uh, compared to the and then we have reload speeds 28 on the better better devils, which this one is actually 63. So it reloads twice as fast essentially on the. Uh, on the uh, Jack Queen King 3 here. And then uh, aim assist is 75, recoil direction is 85, zoom 14. Uh, so same, same zoom, but much better aim assist and uh, recoil direction. So if you're the kind of player who can get, handle using a, uh, a better Devils, you know how to use it well, I say certainly give it a go. 
I think it's gonna be a great choice on this uh, in this game right here for sure. Uh, though the, but having the uh, projectiles create area of effect on detonation impact, it's a nice little boost to uh, the better devils as well. Um, so, kind of up to you how you want to do it. Uh, I would honestly, for hand cannons just in general though, on console especially, to just avoid it. If you're trying to do PvP stuff, PvE, yeah sure, have some fun with it, go for it. It's going to be a great time. Plus the weapon just looks freaking cool. I mean, we look, let's look at this thing right here. It looks freaking awesome. That's a pretty cool, damn cool looking gun, if you ask me. And so I highly suggest, um, you know, give it a go, have some fun. If you if you can do a hand, you can use hand cannons in PvP. I say go for it. Uh, though my suggestion would be or probably be to avoid it. Um, I don't have much experience with hand cannons in PvP just because uh, auto rifles are just so much damn better, really, just in general. Um, and so in PvP. Um, I can't, I can't, I honestly can't give it a good grade just because hand cannons need some love on console for sure. I find it difficult of difficulty of use is rather hard. I think it's a four shot kill through. You might be able to get a three shot tap if it's just uh, headshots, but it's three or four shot kill. And uh, it's just for the difficulty, the difficulty of use with hand cannons in this game is so hard that uh, game, using it in PvP is not that uh, useful. But uh, this is my review for the Jack Queen King 3. If you want to see some more reviews like this, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. I read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you enjoyed this kind of video and want to see some more review kind of videos on Destiny 2 or in Halo 5, please make sure to tap that like button. This so you anyway, see more content like this. Subscribe for more awesomeness because it's always going up on this channel. And we'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.